very, very hard. I can get like maybe halfway and then that's that, so. I really love the so that shows you the difference between our respective yeah. attempts at keeping physically fit. Yeah, yeah. The base of, the, of this pair of jumps here would easily want to keep fit as a one who wouldn't even consider bother. So what do you want to what to do? You want to you want to put me through one or or I just we can do something together? Yeah, well, what was your vision for the whole I was unclear on what you actually wanted to do video wise. I just <laughs> no, Well, I I've, I've as a way of kind of getting full circle I just well, I I as a way of kind of forcing myself to stay with the regiment when I I started lifting again, yeah. I I started recording it just for the shits sake of si okay. shits and giggles and to see uh, the body transformation and, this, and so that I had a, a content motivation as well as a physical motivation. So if I wasn't feeling... He's also visiting me for two weeks and we're documenting his whole... Yeah, yeah. I'm from Since written. he's a very extroverted person, I'm trying to get footage of him going out into the environment and meeting other people, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So you're okay. one of the other people out in the environment. Oh, okay. Uh, was yeah, doing yeah, yeah. things to what he's doing. Okay. Yeah. Do you, are you coaching? Like, do not you have any a concert longer. right now, or? No, I'm not doing anything like that anymore. I, I, um, I'm kind of inspired by your setup, though. Okay. My my stuff is so minimalistic, but really, like, there's a beauty in that because I've talked of all the clients that I'm working with now. Like, they're older, and I don't mean like decrepit. I mean like 35, 40, yeah. you know, around that age, and like they just are sick and tired of being put through the ring roll and like really high raw stuff like yeah, cross yeah. things, you know? Yeah, so it's like I think Yeah, like I do my routine is pretty simple. I usually go for a run first or I go for a run right after because I do like I just have the 35 pound. I go 20 this way, 20 this way, 20 this way, 20 this way. There you go. Then I do 30 curls and then I do a catch like this. There you go. I do that 40 times and then I'll do Long more pulls and then 50 push ups, and then I'll do another set of that with lower numbers. Damn. Pretty and I, I don't take any breaks. Okay, you just go. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. So it's like a cardio extension after a 30 minute run. You're ready right to. Nice. That's good. Let me think. What do we need to do Um. Since we got a pull up bar, it'd be nice to put in. Yeah, I'm gonna. I have to watch my pull ups. I tweaked my elbow a little bit the other day doing like I did like 56 pull ups in like 15 minutes on top of like other like snatch work and stuff like that afterwards. But it was definitely my elbow's a little bit like, hey, we should like take a break today. So, but you can. Um, yeah, I'm pretty, pretty familiar with a lot of the exercises and I'm pretty athletic, so if it's something I'm not familiar with and not afraid to ask questions, I can figure it out. Yeah. So, yeah. I think we can do an AMRAP then. We can go for like 15 minutes. We can make it like a hard 15 okay. minutes. We can put you, if you want to do pull ups, we can get you. Let's keep those reps like low. We'll go like five. We'll start yeah, five pull ups. Yeah. Let me say, okay. Working hard. Yeah. 15 minutes. Is, I, I just wrote a blog post today about like how people normally um, make the I don't have time to train like as an excuse. And really, if you just set the clock for 15 minutes, but you may get like a really tough 15 minutes, you're done for yeah. the day, you yeah. know, so. That's one thing I like about the kettlebells mm -hmm. too. You don't need a gym membership necessarily. It's like, I just, I was doing them on my porch. Mm -hmm. I would do porch workouts and 15, 20 minutes I'd be done and I'd make sure I did it every other day. It's really easy. I, I fucking love the kettlebells. I mean, I brought one with me. Yeah. So I'm quite an enthusiast. You, you look like you can max out on push-ups, yeah? I can do a fuck ton. Okay, okay. I feel like this is going to be good for you. We'll go 15 minutes on that. So, rep steam, I'm going to write this up on my lovely chalkboard. Sometimes I feel like a kettlebell teacher. <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, I, I'm really impressed with you so yeah. far. Yeah. Do you have, a, like, an athletic background? Did you play sports in college or high school? I, I almost went collegiate. I played competitive basketball. Uh -huh. um, Comes the Friday blaster. Um, I played competitive basketball from the time I was eight years old up until I was seventeen. I had what the hell is that? Uh, 
pull-ups. I had college uh, offers going to Slippery Rock, Duquesne, Pitts, uh, University of Pittsburgh. For basketball. Yeah, I was a really good point guard. Um, the problem though was by the time, I never had an off season, honest to God. Like, I just paid straight through when I was a kid. But by the time I reached 16, 17 years old, I could not pivot or run the way that I had like terrible, terrible knee pain all the time. It was just like chronic inflammation. And I would be sitting on the bench, basically, crying my eyes out to my coach wanting to play but like in serious pain and I had to think to myself like do I want to like run like this in college and like potentially really jack myself up or do I want to do something else so I ended up not going to school for basketball and um, I got into kettlebell training probably a little bit towards the end or the beginning no the beginning of my graduate studies um, because I was trying to get back into shape. I put on like that the usual 10 to 15 pounds yeah. of just being inactive, you know? And um, I read on a fitness forum that kettlebell training was really good. There was a guy talking about it uh, because he actually blew out both of his ACLs playing football, so he can't run like ever again, you know? So I researched it, got one, and kind of got hyper obsessed, and now yeah. seven years later, we are in business. <laughs> so, Great. yeah. To, uh, I cannot spell today two-handed. Now, what? How, how heavy is the kettlebell that? Thirty-five. Thirty-five. I use, yeah. Okay. And I pretty much use it for everything. I need to get one that's a little lighter, one that's a little heavier, because I don't do, I can't do much in the way of isolated deltoid stuff with a thirty-five pound weight. But, I mean, I'm still getting a deltoid. I, you know, I don't do like pushes and stuff just because I'm a little limited. We've got the full spectrum. Of what size. what are, what's your what is your limitation? I don't know. I could probably do twenty pounds. I like, see. Like Overhead. Yeah. Okay. All right. Huh. And then, like, if I were to do squats, it would be nice to have like forty or something. Or yeah. Why don't we? Why don't we then? Let me. Um. I'm gonna grab the heavier weight for swings, but I think I'll okay. keep you since. This is a little bit more reps than usual on so weighted squats. It'd, you can it'd be two, two handed so like this or two handed? Yeah, no, good question. Let's have a little impromptu thing. Let's grab the heavier weight for swings. Let's see what we can do. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Are you, we're filming this right now, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Okay, see. Let me know if there's anything you don't want me to do. No, it's fine. I don't care. It's, it's totally fine. I mean, I'll, in the ultimate movie, there might be 30 seconds or whatever. You know, it's just for the sake of showing the interaction between two kettlebell workout types. Yeah, sure. Okay, so you're probably. This is neat. Where did you get this? But the provenance is a little tricky because I kind of acquired it after I left the place. But uh, we come from a place called Demon Bells. I like that. Uh, out of California, we acquired uh, three of them. And I'm sure that wouldn't be fun to snatch, though. You've got the mouth there. I wonder what that would feel like. I don't want to try. Okay. Yeah, the, 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 they're, just, they're pretty well designed as far as like that's pretty urban. Okay. Right there. That's how you do that. Yeah. I got it. All right, cool. All right. Two handed swing. So you're probably used to doing what I just demoed with one handed swing. So two handed swing just means two hands. Mm -hmm. Like, each time from here. That, yeah. I can tell you, is going to be too light for you. So why don't you try this one, and let me know how you feel. Give me, like, five. Good. Cool. How heavy is that? That's about 44. That's pretty good. Good. Okay. Oh, Okay, this time on your swing, I'm going to give you something heavier because that looks too easy for you. So, but more so, this is about 10 pounds heavier. If that's too much, I think it is. Wait, what did I grab? Yeah, 10 pounds heavier. Instead of, you have a very kind of like, I call it the crossfade over swing. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? But I, if you're going to go heavier, I like to see a more chest level. Oh, really? Yeah. And you actually come like really low, like in your back swing, it's yeah, yeah. funny. So, to compensate for that, you're familiar with hinging, right? No. No? Cool. Lesson. Um, kettlebell training is all actually like lower body dominant for the most part, okay? You might have like a ridiculously large 
What you want to do is actually hike the kettlebell behind you as like a football, and then when you stand up, you exhale very forcefully, which will cause you to contract your abs and your glutes very tight. Okay, okay. so you won't be. So able to I want the bell each rep to be right around here, oh, okay. as opposed to above your head, because you're going to get a lot more power into your legs that way. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. And give me five on that guy. Yep, stand up a little bit taller. There we go. Nice. Good. Now down, and why don't you get your stance a little bit more narrow? Uh -huh. Yeah, go ahead. That's a bit of a sorry. Yeah, that's some work. Cool. All right, how's that feel? Feels pretty good. All right, then you're going to be swinging that guy then. Sweet. For max reps at 20. Oh, you're shooting a spring recording too? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that kind of stuff. So what we'll have you do then is we'll have you start five pull-ups and I'd like to see... I'm only going to do one today, okay? Because like I said, my elbow's a little stiff. Yeah, stable. yeah. But I'm, I'd like to see... Um, this is about a dead man position for me because I'm so small. Mm -hmm. But I want to see right, right, right here, okay? okay. That one, yeah? And back there. Okay. That tight muscle there, what that is. Ugh. Okay. So we'll go five pull-ups. Let me see your pull-ups right now, actually, if you don't mind. Just for the same technique. You can jump up there. Oh yeah, you got it. Nice. <laughs> He's got it. I doubt like I can do one. <laughs> cool. I used to do 50. I, I could do 20 right now if I had to, but I would, yeah. I would be like this the rest of the day. Okay, so we're going to do a um, an up the hill ladder, okay? Once you Five pull-ups, ten donald squats. Squats with this guy. Okay, like you come on down. If you can't go below parallel, that's awesome. If not, I will accept right here. You seem like you have a good hip mobility, so right. drop into the squat. Fifteen push-ups, and then you'll end with twenty-two minute swings of that guy. All right. Okay. And I just rotate through like. And you're gonna rotate through, yeah. Like three sets of that or something, or four. We're gonna go for 15 minutes on this. Okay, just see how many rounds we can get done in 15 minutes. Alright. Okay. We got a goal we want to reach? Um, this is a longer set. You should, you being so fit, I would, you should be able to get five of these though, Ooh. easy. Okay? It's a high number. <laughs> yeah, but after you have to be able to pick up the building. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any music requests? Uh, no, I usually don't work out with music, but if you've got some, I, I don't know. Okay. Copyright claims on the video, I'd rather not deal with. Oh, do you? Okay. Well, I mean, whatever. Nobody's going to care. Really. No, but, it's uh, fine. If you if you want something to go through. Okay. If you've got some, like, metal or something. Yeah, like sure. Tent, tent loves metal. Uh, <laughs> I can't say metal. But, uh, I, like, I like metal. Yeah, I do too. What about my sugar? Yeah, I do like my sugar. Let's get my sugar on. How do I, uh, how do I spell the mischief? M-E-S-H-U-G-G-A-H M-E-S-H Mishuga, found them. Crazy like crazy in Yiddish. Yep. Crazy. Crazy for Yiddish. Hey, let's... let's I haven't been coached through a workout in... In the next 30 minutes of a half, a day. to the following sponsor. And do you do like little warm ups or stretches or anything? Yeah, I already threw that once I get the timer set here, 15 minutes. So I normally put people through a body weight like almost, I don't want to call it a yoga flow, but it's like similar. Uh -huh. So if you want, I can show you what that looks like today. You can just follow along. Yeah, okay. All right, cool. Here. So we're actually going to start on the floor, and we're going to, this is what we call figure four, and it makes us. Number four with the nice reaction. Hello, Kim. Thank you for the information. Now, we're going to do now is we're going to roll our tailbone, we're going to lay over each other, and we're going to do our stuff. So, we're going to do some hip mobility work. Sorry. I don't feel great. I feel like I'm going to have a cold. I'm going to have a cold. Okay, back up. Now we're going to do a forward line. Come up on the end. Okay? And take out of our legs. Pull dancing because that's the classic. Right. So, you know, you've got to be strong and tell with your class stuff. I give those ladies credit. So. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Alright, now we're going to come back up to lunge. We're going to sit on the back of our heel. Cool. Side on the lunge. Sit through our heel. Okay. Back on over again. 
again. And one more time to the other side. Good.
much one. Good job. You're making a really good time. Nice. Good. I just got the thing, so now it's like, 
know, last little bit of business I gotta do. Good job, buddy. You are on the building? I'm renting it. Mm -hmm. I know installing that thing because this building is a little bit older. The guys already told me they're gonna have to rewire the thing, so I'm like, I wonder what that's gonna cost. <laughs> so, we'll see. Worst case scenario, I'm just be like, hey, landlord, can you just tap this onto my rent for the next like two years? Because that would be super helpful. Okay, thanks, bye. Good push ups, buddy. Well, it should be their responsibility, and then they wouldn't land onto the rent. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's definitely not your, it's not your responsible for it. Yeah, yeah. I'll figure it out. I always do. All right, sir, you have reached halfway. Yeah. Being a wrestler and stuff like that. You 
you guys probably aren't used to that kind of yeah. leg work and stuff like that. Most of those are more like upper body dominant, so. I had an Olympic champ for boots in college, so. Holy That's shit! Pretty incredible. Um, spoiled rotten? <laughs> oh my yeah. God. That's awesome. Good for you. Yeah, Tom grabs his name. Nice. He's the, the Olympic coach, too. That's awesome. I used, I used to want to be an Olympian. In the long, long time. Did you end up just changing your mind, or is it just, oh, I want full extension, buddy. I know you're tired. I don't see the push ups right now, okay? <laughs> it's tough. I know. I'm not taking around. <laughs> I just want to be. I don't know. I just, was it a goal anymore? Or? Got into college and yeah. out of a controlling household. All I wanted to do was free fear and fuck. Yeah. So, wrestling wasn't a priority anymore. Yeah, I gotcha. And I wasn't good at juggling. Yeah, I gotcha. Spoken like a true dude. <laughs> cool. Not a lot's changed since then either. Oh, okay, well. I appreciate your honesty, so.
Oh, that's my alarm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It, it means that people will be able to hear you and will be able to understand what you're saying. 
Yeah, I'll throw this uh, footage uh, in the raw kind of on YouTube or something. Yeah, I love it. Later, he's going he's gonna to reply it, and we'll definitely uh, share it with you. Yeah. If it's something you, you can use to promote yourself. Yeah, I love that. Um, I think awesome. it'll be in the finished movie, like I said. It'll just be a tiny little section of Whatever. a zillion different things. But we can, yeah. Like, if I put it on YouTube, you know, you can make a link to the video and you can to the sign at the end of it. So okay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he has a little point to just go to that part. Yeah. And when you record the other part, you can do that. Excellent! No, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. It might be cut in between other stuff, too, which makes it so easy to correct. Maybe you'll get a chance to see it. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. yeah, that's awesome. You're a good sport, thanks. Hey, no problem. Thanks so much. No so problem. Fun, you know? okay, yeah, I love it, too. Oh, good, thanks! <laughs> don't forget your bell now. No, I won't do that. <laughs> and your phone, too. Yeah, your phone. That new phone yeah. that I just got yesterday and ran.